Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello family, thank you again for tuning in. So today I'll be sharing two methods that I prefer using when I'm peeling my black eye beans for my akara or kose. Yes, if this is your first time, you welcome and thank you very much for tuning in. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and activate your notifications to all so you do not miss any future videos. Now to make this, of course, we do need our black eye beans and we need to soak it. Now the first method I'll be using will be the blender method, yes, which means I'm just going to pulse it and that'll be great. Now, because of that, I just don't want the beans to be too soft, but I need it moist enough that, you know, the skin will just come off easily. So in this case, you shouldn't soak your beans for more than an hour and a half to use this process. And of course, when you try to rub it in between your hands, it is a little bit difficult to do. Yes, because of course, if you use it the hand method, you would have to soak it overnight and that makes it easier for you to do so and i've covered that method in one of my previous videos when i did try making akara yes so now i've just transferred my beans that i soaked for about an hour and a half into the blender in the lowest pulse possible i've just whisked that and i've brought it back to the sink to separate the peels from the beans. Now this process can take between five to 10 minutes depending on how quick or fast you are. Yes, so all I just do is add a bit more water and then the skins will settle at the top and strain it. I repeat the process until of course I have a lot less skins. But what happens is you would find a few pieces left in there and you can hand pick it. Yes, and you good to go. After separating the peels from the beans, you will find a few peels left and you can hand pick that quickly and you end up with your peeled beans. Yes. The next method you can try using is by using your stand mixer. And I've done that a few times. Now there was on one occasion, which was this occasion where the beans were soaked overnight. So it was a little bit on the softer side, may I say. So yes, it was great and quick and no fuss, but I ended up with more of a crushed consistency of the beans. Yet again, once that was done, what I did was separate the peels from the beans by following the same process as I had before. Once that was done, I then transferred it into a plate and then picked all the little, like, you know, skins or peels that were left, yes. In the same breath, you can use your food processor instead of a blender and follow this process through. Nothing should stop you, really. And I guess because beans peeling has become much easier now, I prefer to do it just as and when I need it. Yes, rather than freeze it. But if you have to, make sure that you do freeze it in an airtight container and use it within a month. Exactly, because that's when you get the best of it, I will say. Of the two methods that I've shared today, which is your favorite? Please do not forget to leave your comments below. Like the video if you like what you see and share with your family and friends. Yes, thank you ever so much notification gang. To my loyal subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. And until my next recipe, which of course is going to be the best akara ever. Yes, take care of you, be nice, be beautiful. And I love you for your tone.